card. Come on, say what's on your thoughts. Controller shit, I'm scoring flippers, ain't nobody won't look. Losing focus, burning soda, trying to win off a cook. Think it's it. Damn, I need to make a beat. Let's get it. Hey, 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 get that, bit that, jump shot, wet that, post moves, no rules, chef that, no boo. What's up? I'm Leezy the Gifted. I'm a rapper and a music producer, and if this is the first time that you've tuned into the channel, click below, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. I don't want to waste any more time. I just want to jump right into it. Let's get it. So there's this process called quantitizing. It's not that complicated. It just means it automatically puts all your notes perfectly in time, but you can set the quantization to a certain time. So like usually I do 116. Dude, I don't even know what all that means, so don't trip if you don't know. But I'm gonna change the quantization so it has like a little swing to it. So like. Okay guys, so there's this other thing I do called EQing. Um, basically, like with this kind of an instrument, for example, like this is what it sounds like without the EQ. This is pretty basic stuff. Right? And then I put the EQ, it sounds a little muffled. Why do I do that? Because like, there's gonna be a vocalist coming on there and usually vocals, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Vocals take up a lot of the high end of the frequency. So you want to leave room for that. So like with instruments, take out the high end in the instrument so that there's room for the vocals. That's it. Let's keep going. You know how you know when the song is going ham, when you hear some weird vibrating and you're like, what is that? Is that an earthquake? Nope. It's just your bass. <laughs> like up there it's vibrating. <laughs> Time for the drums. Dude, it's vibrating the whole freaking room. It's cool. This beat is awesome. I'm like damn near done. Let's arrange it. Basically what I just showed you guys was 
scratching the surface. I mean, this is step one, make the beat. But there's still also mixing what you wanna do, which is super important. You wanna level everything out. Writing the lyrics, recording the vocals, obviously mixing and mastering, those are all hella processes. But, I mean, this is a great place to start. I mean, maybe I could throw one more instrument in there. Let's just try that. Let's see if I could throw one more thing. <laughs> Come on, dude. This is easy, bro. You guys gotta understand something. Like, I'll never forget when I couldn't make beats. I will never forget it. I will never ever forget the feeling that I had when I didn't know where my next song was going to come from. I, I feel like that sounds like I'm starving. I don't know when my next meal is gonna come. As an artist, you wanna constantly be creating music. When you're a rapper, you have bars in your mind. You have thoughts, you have words. You wanna write, you wanna go. And like, you'll go get your beats wherever you can. You'll go jack them on YouTube. You, you'll, you'll, you'll go find beats on BeatStars and you'll spend 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 bucks, 100 bucks, 200 bucks on beats. Um, you'll find some producer that you maybe know and they'll plug you for beats. You'll do anything it takes because you're a hungry artist. But like, I hated that feeling. I hated the feeling of not knowing where my next song was gonna come from. And then I also hated the fact that I didn't know if, like I didn't, I wasn't gonna own fully own my music. I wanted ownership. So like, you guys gotta understand this. That's why I'm so hyped when I make a banger. Like I never forget, like I never forget what it was like. Come on bro, like I never forget. Like, like yo, like damn near 20, it's not 20 exactly, but these are a list of all the songs I'm working on for 2020. Everything in green is finished. But all these other ones I'm working on. Guys, like, fully own the rights. One song here was made by somebody else. I think that's it. I think there's like one song on here where, where a producer gave me the beat. So it's like, I'm unlimited working on music. Like, I come into my studio anytime. This is my freaking garage, y'all. I come in here every single day, whenever I want, and I make songs and I own the rights to them. Like, whether you like this beat or not, like, that doesn't even matter. Like, what should matter to you is the fact that I'm a rapper. Like, dudes who make all these videos, I'm just talking now, like, dudes who make these videos on YouTube are producers, making beats. I'm not a producer. I'm a rapper. Remember that. I'm a rapper making these beats. I am a producer. Man. So I appreciate you for watching, for real. Like, if you subscribe to this channel, or if you follow me on Instagram, it means a lot to me, for real, because this journey I'm going on is freaking nuts and it's crazy and I'm taking everybody with me, Gifted by Choice movement. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification because if you liked this banger, we got more bangers coming for you every single week, baby. Let's freaking go. Gifted by Choice, you know what it is.